Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I figured I'd just pick up right where we left off. So you saw that she went to the vet last time to get her teeth floated. She got Coggins done and shots done. I just wanted to start here just kind of to recap where I'm at. And we're still in Texas right now. I'm still with Camille. So <laughs> right after my intro plays, it's going to pick up on the day after this. So jumping right back into it, the following day, we trailered over to a yes, small yes. indoor arena and started working on Woo. some under saddle stuff. I definitely can see some things I need to improve on as far as my equitation and how soft I am with my body. I was definitely happy with today's ride because we had a little bit more forward energy. I was asking more of her. I really wanted her to move out and she responded pretty well. We're working a lot on softening getting her quieter in the mouth. She definitely has some moments of give and softness. So that's something super exciting. I'm working on her staying on a circle with just my leg cues, not so much needing my reins to turn her. So I'm really trying to help her with that outside leg. This was just a really good ride for her because we worked on a lot more forward impulsion, especially since I want her to start giving into the bridle more. You can see I'm really pushing with my body, which I need to have more subtle cues for that so I don't look quite as sloppy. But she is starting to soften into that bit. So we're starting to get more technical, not, not super technical, but a little bit more out of the green horse stuff and more into kind of refining everything. Woo! That looks good. She it's clinic day. So we've got four horses that are gonna go on the trailer. So my two have to go together. They're both being good so far though. And then Camille's will go in my back section, which is a little bit bigger, and I do have the bigger horses, but they should be all right. Look at my two kids. And they're both going to be used in the clinic. Lynx is going to be with me as my demo horse, and then Snooze is actually going to be participating in it with someone. So I'm just letting them get used to standing tied up and kind of waiting for the participants all to show up before we get started. I didn't get too many clips from the clinic because I was teaching the entire time, but Snooze did really awesome and the clinic was a really good clinic overall. Then right after clinic weekend, I actually got on an airplane and flew home to Florida really quick to see my girls. So Snooze and Lynx got one day off. I got to see Sweet Calliope and then I got to ride Calypso around a little bit. It's hard not being able to see my guys all the time, and I know a lot of you ask about them, so this is my first time seeing them in a hey. while. Hey. This is my goofy girl. She loves smiling, smiling, and she loves the spin trick. And Calypso is coming along really well under saddle. I have someone leasing her now who rides her about two days a week since I'm not there, and she's doing really well with her. I miss my mares a lot. I can't wait to get back there. And sorry this skips around a lot. I got back to Texas pretty much at midnight and then Camille and I took Snooze and I think Julius over to an arena to work them. We got back and then as soon as we got back I had to pretty much take my horses and load up so I wouldn't be late to the next spot. It was really nice of Camille to take care of my horses for that one day so I could fly back to see my girls in Florida. I don't think I got too much footage here at Camille's. There's Julius and Rory, but we're on our way to our next stop now. We 
I've got Lynx carrying my hay bag and Snooze tagging along. This is gonna be a shorter trip, which is why I can actually leave when it's light out. We're gonna go to May, Texas. Come on, Snooze. And go hang out with Katie and Craig for a day or two. And then we'll be on our way up north from there. Back up, not you. You. Oh, links. And we are on our way to May, Texas. So I got to mess around a little bit with snooze there. This is super fast jumping. I pretty much was taking engagement photos for my good friends Katie and Craig of More Horsemanship and I was able to play around with Snooze. I taught her to sit there and really solidified her lay down cue. And then we loaded up before it was even light out and I hauled over to Nate Eikers where I was able to ride Snooze with his horses. And then after I rode at Nate's, I loaded up again and hauled over to Lipan, Texas to my good friends Jody and JW. And Jody and I went on a nice, probably seven or eight mile trail ride. She did great with the traffic and the cars, and this bridge was pretty scary. It was like hollow sounding and made some weird noises. She passed it no problem. Again, this video is definitely short clips, kind of chaotic, jumps around everywhere, but that's pretty much what my life is. And again, in the middle of the night, we loaded up to head up to Oklahoma. And this is all like over the course of a couple days, maybe like one week. So it's probably about, I wanna say 2 a.m. made to Oklahoma and now this is where my next video is gonna pick up but I'm here with Wileen who's another really good friend of mine and we're just getting some cows rounded up to get them yeah, into the yeah, arena the ride, and I took snooze out pretty much right after we got off the trailer and yeah, yeah she's just yeah. getting exposure to all these different things she's been really fantastic but I will pick up the next video in Oklahoma so thank you guys for watching. If you want to see more content, make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on this video. And again, this one was pretty chaotic. Um, it won't be like this for too long. I'll make sure to get back to some normal content soon, as soon as this makeover is over.